I was always creating, thinking very abstractly. Um, and so when I started to kind of think about and figure out what I wanted to do, who I wanted to be in the world, it was a very obvious path to choose. Definitely took some <laughs> um, trial and error to figure that out, but it, nothing feels more right to me than creating in any form. And I paint because it feels the most free to me out of every art form that I've experienced. Um, I feel very limitless when I paint and I, there's no pressure for me to paint for anybody but myself. Everything I paint is a reflection of my internal dialogue, um, which I think is just very unique. Hi, I'm Naomi Whitestone Brinley, and I am an artist. With my art, my goal is to always communicate, articulate something about our own experience. And not just my experience, but the human experience. Your universal truths is, that, that's something I focus on a lot and think about a lot. Um, what connects all of us, what makes us feel whole, what makes us feel like we have a purpose. And so to me, when I think about my career evolving and what I want that to look like, I want to have autonomy over my creativity and I want my my message to be amplified. I think it's my message will and why I create will always be the same but my goal is for that to be amplified. I think the meaning behind my work always has something to do with part of the soul. A lot of my work has to do with, um, it's like a creative articulation of emotion or um, a experience, like the remnants, emotional remnants of a experience. Yeah, it, I think everything for me comes back to what is the soul communicating? Like what wisdom is the soul sharing? And I don't know, I don't really go into a piece with that intention. It sort of just comes to me while I'm painting or after I'm done with a piece. Then I kind of reflect on what this means what this means to me, but also what the piece means to the viewer. I think the colors I use really mean different things with each piece. Like, um, sometimes I focus very heavily on one color and, you know, that 
has a very literal meaning within the piece, but in a piece like this where there are a lot of different colors, they're all interacting differently with one another and each color has like a role it's playing in the conversation. But in all my pieces, I really just, I don't plan out what colors I use. I just will start playing around with different colors and then eventually kind of mold them until they are having like a fluid conversation with one another. The biggest thing that's influenced my work has been like my ancestors. I have, I have a lot of um, ancestors who were artists and painters and I like study their work. I study um, their pieces and their, um, what they paid attention to, I guess and why they paid attention to it. And I get a lot of inspiration from that because I know a lot more about their lives. And so I'm able to connect like what they were expressing in their work, why they express certain things in their work and how it related to what they were going through in their life or what um, their life stood for. Through pursuing an independent creative career, I'm realizing that um, in order to stand out and do something that's unique to you, you kind of have to tread this line of people are going to perceive what you're doing as either insane or genius. And you have to be the one to believe that what you're doing is genius. I think that if you're doing something creative and it's authentic to who you are, no matter what that looks like, I think that's genius. That's like, that's radical.